Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We're going to start in a couple of seconds. So let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver a quién tenemos por acá para iniciar. Yo reviso un par de mensajes que me han enviado. We don't have problems so far with the connection, right? So Luz says, dice Luz, just listener, okay. Let's see who else we have here. Vamos a ver qué más tenemos. Creo que tenemos a Ana Cristina. Hello, Christy. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Everything okay? No problem. Todo bien? Sí. Okay, thank you, Cristina. Very nice. We have also Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Are you there? Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, thank you for answering. And what about Stephanie? <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, good evening. Okay. Good evening, Stephanie. Hello there. Okay, we have also Nelson. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, okay. Good evening, my friend. Thank you for answering. Joanna as well. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Aquí con lluvia. <laughs> okay, me imagino. Thank you for answering. Gracias por contestar. We have also Laura. Hello, Hi, Laura. Teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. We have also Luz Carrillo. Let's see. Luz, pero no. Luz se escribió ahorita en es el cierto. chat. Es cierto. Es cierto que iba a estar de oyente. Para sí. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Wendy. Hello, no, no, teacher. Hello, Hi, Wendy. And you have Héctor. I don't know if Héctor is there. A ver si está por ahí, Héctor. Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening, Hector. Thank you for answering. Aquí, aquí con mucha lluvia, unos trenes un poco regulares. Me imagino, me imagino. Sí, sí. Igual que Joana. Thank you, Hector. Okay, what about Wilmer? Uh, hello, hello, teacher. Hello, good hello. evening. Good evening. Hello, Wilmer. Thank you. And David? Hello, teacher. Hello, thank you for answering. Ahorita solo estamos revisando con quienes contamos por acá, ¿verdad? Eh, gracias. Good evening. Hello, thank you. What about Ricardo? No problem, Ricardo. Hello. Uh, aquí estoy viendo un poco porque no le contesto en algún momento, es por eso. Thank you, thank you, Ricardo, for telling. Gracias por contar. Eh, Miguel. Hello, Miguel. Bueno, ya vamos a ver entonces con los demás compañeros que eh, todavía falta que se conecten, ¿verdad? Ok. Hi, so, hello. Thank you, Brian. No problem, right? Because of the rain? Uh, no hay lluvia? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. So today, I don't, um, only that the uh, problems with my internet. Okay. Yes, yeah, sometimes problem. it happens. Sometimes I think that it does that that right now is so good, but I don't know. Okay. I hope it night. continues like that. I I hope we have like a good connection tonight. Thank okay. you, Ryan. Okay, so the topic for tonight is simple present negative statements. Se tratan de las oraciones negativas. ¿Verdad? Oraciones negativas en presente. Simple present negative statements is the class number four, class number four. So before we start, um, here we have this. Okay. Here we have expressing wishes. De esta manera voy a pasar lista, okay? Así que necesito que pongamos atención un poquito a esto. 
para expresar eh, deseos, normalmente decimos I wish, I, y el verbo después en pasado, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos esta. I wish I had three dogs. Desearía tener tres perros. Eh, sabemos que el verbo have es presente, pero esa es la estructura para expresar deseos. I wish I had three dogs. Desearía tener tres perros. La siguiente sería, I wish I were an actor. Desearía ser un actor. El pasado, <coughs> el pasado es was, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a utilizar el word como estructura general. La otra forma sería, I wish I had ten cars. Yo recomiendo que utilicen esta. Desearía tener, por ejemplo, diez carros. I wish I had ten cars. Tenemos la otra que es, I wish I were president. Desearía ser presidente. ¿Ok? La otra sería, I wish I traveled to Europe. <coughs> desearía ver, perdón, desearía viajar a Europa. Y aquí tenemos, I wish I saw my daddy. Desearía ver a mi papá. Recomiendo que utilicemos esta. I wish I had three dogs. Esto es fácil. <coughs> Vamos a escribir acá en el chat. Vamos a cambiarle con cats. Ok. Podemos decir, I wish I had, ¿verdad? Desearía tener, ¿el qué? Tres gatos, eh, otro empleo, un barco, I don't know. Something that comes to your mind, ¿ok? Y este, si quieren hacerlo con el verbo to be, tiene que ser en pasado, así como ese. I wish I were, desearía ser, si se traduce. I wish I were an actor. Okay. And sería actor, ¿verdad? No actor. Voy a esperar sus respuestas acá. Utilizando I wish I had. Son formas para expresar deseos. Expressing wishes, ¿ok? Luego les pregunto a cada uno. Para de esa manera pasar lista, ¿ok? Espero en el chat. Okay, let's see what type of answers we have. I'm going to call you one by one. 
and then you say hi, dicen hola, hello, good evening, y luego dicen su deseo, ok, we're going to start, no vamos a ir en el orden normal, we're not going to use the same order, because your answers are in different order, ok, pero vamos a ver aquí quién tenemos, the first person, hello, Cristina, hello, hello, ok, hi, ok, your wish, cuál es tu deseo, I wish I had my house. Yes, that's our nice wish here. I Thank guess there is a good one. Thank you. What about Jasmine? Hello, Jasmine. Hello. Oh. Hello. Vamos a ver. Okay. I wish I can. I wish okay. I have four cars. Perfect. Okay, four cars. Nice. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm, we go now with Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Hey, okay. I wish I had a successful business. Okay, a successful business. Yes. I guess that that is like a very good wish, right? A successful wish, uh, business. <clears throat> Thank you. Pero estoy buscando aquí el nombre de Yasmin, que no me parece Yesenia Yasmin. Ok. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Ok. Let's continue with the wishes. Now we go with uh, Brian and then Nelson. Ok, Brian. Your turn. Um, well, my wish is I wish I uh, had the PS5 with two controls. Okay. Yeah, could it be? Yeah, why not? It is possible. Thank you. And Nelson, hello. <laughs> hello, good evening. I wish I were a millionaire. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I guess everybody would like that. that. Todo nos gustaría eso. Okay, millionaire. Why not? Thank you. And Ivan, your turn. Hi, Ivan. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. I okay, wish uh, we're a doctor. Hmm? Very nice. Uh, we're a doctor. Thank you. And what about Doris? Hi, good evening. Hello. I wish I had a doctor. Okay, wish I had a dog. Very nice. It's, it is good to have pets, definitely. Thank you, Laura. Your turn. Oh, no. Laura, que fue la que me dijo, ¿verdad? Que iba a estar ocupada. Yeah. Hola. No. Okay. Aquí estoy. Ah, aquí estás. Okay. Hello. Aquí estoy. Hello. Uh, I wish I had a red car. A red car. Yeah, you like that color. Nice. Yes. A purple. Okay. Okay, <laughs> two options, red or purple. Thank you. Okay, now let's move to okay, Luz. Ah, sí, Luz es la que me había escrito. Okay, Ricardo, hello. I don't know if Ricardo is there. Okay, if Ricardo Ricardo says, I wish I had a house with a terrace. Nice. Uh, Hector. Now you there? I wish I were money, money. No, oh, I wish I had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Many, uh, much money. Yeah, why not? Joanna, hello. Hello. I wish I have four dogs. E oh. I wish I were a singer. Singer, do you like to sing? Really? <laughs> Quisiera. <laughs> Maybe one day we're going to listen to you, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. Nice. What about Wendy? I wish I had a master degree. Mm -hmm. Master degree. That, that is a nice wish. Yeah, but you can do it. Okay, Ricardo. Are you there? Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, I wish I had a house with Terrace. Okay, nice. 
That, that's a good and one. And I wish I were a millionaire. Millionaire as well. Yeah, everybody wants to be millionaires. Thank you. <laughs> Wilmer. Uh, hi, present. Thank you. Uh, I wish I have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I wish I were a millionaire. Perfect. Thank you. Good answers. Buena respuesta. Thank you. So I guess all of your wishes are really good. And it is important to express your ideas or wishes. Es bueno expresar ideas, este, deseos. So in this case, it is like different ways. It, this, it, this happens in mainly when you, you have a genie. Imagínense que tiene un genio. La lámpara maravillosa similar a Aladdin. So you can ask for wishes. And this is the way you can ask for them, okay? Or even when you want to say something or simplemente cuando quieren decir algo para ver si, pues, les, les cumplen los deseos, okay? Um, we're going to check this, okay? Mm, and démosle una revisada a esto. Ya lo vamos a leer por completo, okay? Leámoslo un poco. Ya regreso. Okay, we need some of you to read this. Maybe um, here we have Traverse Inc. for a better future, dear employee. Aquí eh, se le está dando la bienvenida a un empleado, dear employee, querido empleado. Okay, maybe we, you can help me. Mm, let's see. Can we start with Laura, please, Laura? Can you help me with some of this? I'm going to show you where. For example, this. We go line by line. Vamos a ir línea por línea. ¿Podrías ayudarme? Can you help me with number one? Eh, ¿Cuál? cuál? Eh, uh, this. Congratulations. Ah. Congratulations. You are, you are not part of the travel fam family? Family. Thank you. Travel Continue. family. Mm -hmm. Here's some. Here's some information. Information about your new job. Thank you. Yes. And so about your new job, vamos con alguien más. Tal vez me ayuda, Ricardo, please. This one. Hola. Uh, me ayudas leyendo. 
sería esta línea. La Fisher me habló. Disculpe, que no, no, no tengo buena señal. Ok, no hay problema entonces. Yasmin me dice. Hello, Yasmin. No. Hello. Eh, sería Luisa, please. Sí, ajá. Luisa, please. ¿Cómo se dice ahí? Ah, aquí se dice carefully. 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 Ok. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Very nice. Y aquí aparece name, Glenda Dominic Sánchez. Ok. Job title, junior sales manager. Ok, nice. Y aquí aparece K job duties. Duties eh, significan deberes, tareas, obligaciones. Ok, so that's it. Let's see. Ok, Ricardo, I understand some, sometimes we don't have like good internet signal. Ok, K job duties. Have meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary $440 per month plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, eh, CFO. Bien, aquí dice, um, Travers Inc. is the name of the company, el nombre de la empresa. Welcome, bienvenido, Travers Inc. Congratulations, felicidades. You are now part of the Travers Inc. family, eres parte de la familia de Travers. Here is some information about your new job. Información acerca del nuevo trabajo. Please read it carefully. Okay. There are some words, hay unas palabras, there are some words which we have to be careful, tenemos que tener cuidado, porque no se pronuncian algunas letras. Por ejemplo, aquí se dice care, la E no se pronuncia, carefully. Por favor, lee cuidadosamente. Name, Glenda. Job title, que es el, el título de, 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 del empleo. Junior sales manager. Y las tareas son Have meeting with your manager. Get in, in contact with customer. Answer clients' questions about the products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. O sea, tiene que ver mucho con los clientes. Vacations, two weeks per year. Dos semanas de vacaciones al año, nada mal. Plus public holidays. Más las, la, las festividades que son públicas. Imagínense, qué bien. Salary, 440. ¿Verdad? 440 más los bonos. Good luck. Buena suerte. Mark Travers, TFO. Ahora aquí tenemos. Dominic speaks to clients in her new job. Aquí vamos a escribir dos cosas. True. O también vamos a decir false. True es verdadero. False es falso. True, false. Ok. Here we have four... Um, Sentences, number one, Dominic speaks to clients in her new job. Two, her salary is three, uh, 100 per week. Three, Dominic gets a yearly vacation. And four, she has to work on holidays. A ver, eh, volunteers, voluntarios, ¿quién me dice cuál? One, two, three, four, si me dicen si son true, si son verdaderos, or false, si son falsas. Vamos a ver si alguien se anima. <clears throat> no problem if you have some difficulties. Ivan, hello, Ivan. Tell me, what number? Hello, teacher. Num no. the first. The first. Dominic okay. speaks to clients in her new job. Is true? Yeah, definitely it's true. Okay, because here we have call potential clients, get in contact with customers. So yeah, that's it. Thank you, Ivan. Okay, who else? Here we have number two, three, and four. Let me see. Mm -hmm. If not, I'm going to ask some of you. For example, maybe Stephanie, could you help me? Two, yes. Three. Mm -hmm. Repeat number two, please. 
her salary is uh, 100 per week. Si su salario de 100 it por semana. Is false because oh. the salary is 40, uh, for, uh, 440. Uh, for, <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, 440. Okay. Uh, sure. Per, per, okay. Um, aquí tenemos que es 100, <laughs> cuatro veces 100 es 400, aunque aquí aparece 440. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, yeah, it is false. It could be like 110, si dijese 110 a la semana, yeah, could it be true? But we have forty dollars, like like a different. So, what about three and four? Dominic gets a yearly vacation, or he has to work on holidays. You tell me if it is true or false. Any idea? Maybe we can ask to. What about David? David. If David is not available, may, maybe Brian. With number three and number four, if you think it is true or false. Mm, too many good vacations. Mm. Get yearly. What, what is the meaning of yearly? Anualmente, yearly. No, it's, it's incorrect. It's false. Number three. Yep. Okay, uh, Dominic gets a yearly vacations. Okay, uh, Brian this says, vacation is two weeks for not two weeks for a year. Year, mm -hmm. okay, mm. good. Evening. Thank you, Brian. And Wendy, could you help me with number four? She has to work on holidays, she tiene que trabajar los. los... Oh, Hello, hi, Thank teacher. You. Hello, Wendy. ¿Tú qué dices? Um, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. She has she has work on holidays. Okay, it this is, is true. Okay. Nice, true. Aunque como aquí tenemos public holidays que se las van a dar, creo que sería false. Okay. False. Mm, false. Mm -hmm. Ella ya no trabajaría, estaría bastante bien because she, for example, Holy Week Semana Santa, no las trabajaría. That's really no, nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Now, here we have like something very interesting. For example, it is the functions, las funciones que hace cada quien. Okay, look at this. This is related to job. Esto es relacionado al trabajo. Okay, what, what we're going to do is to text one of the uh, duties that you have to do. Díganme una de las cosas que ustedes hacen en su trabajo. Mention one activity or duty you do at your job. Que ustedes hacen en el trabajo. For example, could it be? Um, okay, check mail, send reports. Yeah, mention one, okay? And text it in the chat, okay? Please. I need one activity you do at your job. I know that you will have like five, 10 or 20 activities that you do or different tasks or duties, okay? It can be called clients and reports, check mails, uh, prepare like reports, uh, check inventory, uh, manage products, okay? So I'm going to be waiting for your answer.
Okay, now uh, let's take a look at to the comments that you have sent. Joanna says, check email, Ivan, check email, Doris, call clients, yes. Uh, Christy says, present financial statements, okay. Jasmine says, my job is to supervise a sales team. Okay, very, very nice, <clears throat> really important. Nelson says, prepare financial statements as well. Luz says, review files. David sent reports. Email that check me, check report, call clients. Victor, review of accounting accounts. Okay. When the review reports every Monday. Okay. Very um, order because on Mondays, right? And Stephanie training the teachers. Very nice, uh, Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, do you work in school or something like that? No. I work at Ministerio de Educación in convenio con la Escuela Agricola Panamericana Zamorano. Oh, very interesting. Okay. You are constantly working on workshops, right? With teachers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very interesting. Thank you. Nice. Thanks. Okay. Brian says, I create a lot of. PC in my job, okay. Wilmer says, check the emails. Okay, thank you. Nice. I consider that you have a lot of activities in your work. It is not just one activity, okay? I ask just for one, but I'm sure that you do a lot of things, okay? Uh, gracias, uh, visit producers on the field. Mm, nice, wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Now, um, here we have the list, and here we have this. Look, how are businesses today from 50 years ago? ¿Qué tan diferentes o, o sí, qué tan diferentes o cuán diferentes son los negocios de ahora a comparación de 50 años? Okay, I guess we have different types of characteristics of businesses because if your grandpa used to have a business, it is very different the way of the administration than now. I mean, because of the tools, because of the bank, because of the loans, los préstamos, a, a lot of things, right? But basically, we have to give our opinion about this. I have um, and here the list. Tengo acá la lista de asistencia. So I need you to raise your hand if you want to participate. Vamos a participar todos, okay? Aunque sea una, una opinión práctica, sencilla, me pueden decir, no problem. But I need you to give your point of view. Necesito que den su punto de vista, okay? You can raise your hand or I can select uh, the participants, okay? And you tell me what is the difference between businesses now and 50 years ago, okay? Let's see, volunteers or not. If not, I'm going to select some of you. For example... What about if we start with Doris? Doris, could you help me with your opinion? Hi. Hello. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm, I think fidelity. Fidelity? Yes. Okay. Could it be with the customers? A eso te refieres, con lo que respecto a los clientes. Oh, sí, bueno, oh. porque yo pienso que ahora de muchas cosas se tienen muchas opciones. Ok. Y nice. a uno no se da solo como a una sola. Ok, thank you. Yeah, like there are more variety, hay variedad. There, we have variety of products and services. Thank you. Yeah, yes. could it be? It happens a lot, okay? Um, let's listen now to David. Hi, David. Hi, teacher. Hello there. Okay. One different is the virtual business. Ah, digital business. Virtual, uh-huh, yes. Okay, you, you, you mean online businesses, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Imagine uh, 20 years ago, a 70 years, no estaba tan fuerte. It is like very different. And now, 50 yeah. years, yes, now you can Ahora, work 
puede tener un, un negocio sin necesidad de un local. ¿verdad? Yeah, and something that is very common, for example, in marketplace in Facebook, you show yeah. the product, right? And you don't have mm -hmm. uh, la, like a physical space, but you can send the product. Thank you, <clears throat> David. Very good point. What about Christy? Hi, Christy. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. I think today there are systems and technological equipment that reduce processes. Mm -hmm. Definitely it is very different. The, 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 the equipment that we have now, uh, technological, even for payments, right? Para Digital los pagos. commerce. Digital commerce, of course. Yeah, it is. And as David was uh, mentioning, it is not necessary to have a space like a, like a store, como no, no es necesario tener como una tienda física, physical store, right? But you, uh, mm -hmm. through the digital commerce, yeah? Mm -hmm. Could it be? Thank you, Chris. Yes, very nice vocabulary. Yes. Joanna. Hello, Joanna. Hello. In my opinion, in, it is technology, such as the internet and the modern machinery. Creo que así se pronuncia, como maquinaria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Machinery. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, you can show your product through internet and you have the option to pay for the marketing or not. I mean, the, 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 the sponsors or the ads, la, la, la publicidad, of course, you can pay or not, pay or right? Not, right? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, Joanna. Yes, of course. It is like very useful. Everything is like visual. And we have Stephanie, right, Stephanie? Okay. Mm -hmm. In my opinion today, businesses have advanced in the use of computer system and technology. For example, virtual payment, virtual meeting, uh, work from home. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you for, for mentioning that. For example, imagine uh, before COVID, the pandemic times, uh, it was kind of, it, it, it was not so common to have meetings on, through Zoom, Meet, or, but now after that, it, it is now like very, but very common, necessary. And as you mentioned, even in an interview, una entrevista de trabajo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But it be like like that, and before it was very different. Okay, so thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, it is. I consider that it is a big change, and we are moving forward. Y nos vamos dirigiendo hacia adelante. Okay, anybody else? Remember, si no pasan ahorita, le voy a preguntar otro momento. Okay, but okay. David, um, no, right, no, David ya pasó. Okay, maybe we can have the participation of Nelson. I don't know, Nelson, if, if you're ready. Uh, yes. Please. Um, first difference the currency purchasing power. Uh, uh, the, 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 yes. Yeah. The purchasing, yeah. las compras, yeah. Purchasing, purchasing, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. It was a uh, one to one. Mm -hmm. A big game. Uh, the okay. change uh, was not uh, rational. Mm -hmm. it, it, in the past, it was like uh, you had to attend to the store, you had to go uh, by, by in person to buy things and now it is like very different even you can buy things uh, from other countries not just in El Salvador right yeah. so it is a big change thank you Nelson thank you okay. for mentioning that okay what about in this case if we will listen to Brian any opinion about this um, I think that it's uh, you have uh, well uh, so Actually, you have a lot of uh, forms of payment. Uh, the yep. new, uh, mm -hmm. it's uh, Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. We can when you use uh, your phone or your wallet. Uh, on other things, it's not necessary that Apple that 
and you have an iPhone or you can do it with an Android if it's not contact with other people. That's so, it. So that well, I prefer that that so where for example that uh, when the cars and uh, the, the new jump, it's uh, uh, electric carts. It is so good for for natural mini. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for for mentioning that. Uh, take into account your your comments. Um, we have also PayPal. We have credit card payments. We have debit card payments, and even we have. As you said, the wallets, uh, you can pay with Bitcoin and, or even you go to the supermarket, you can uh, pay by using um, QR codes. So now we are using less money. Indeed, we are using like plastic money, como dinero plastic, uh, talking about cards or even some forms from wallet some apps from the some banks so yeah it is really really different related to payment thank you Brian and maybe Laura um it podría ser there is a lot of technology and equality between men and women okay la yeah. igualdad uh, los derechos y todo eso. Talking about that, Laura, uh, in the past there was kind of difference in treatment. Había una diferencia de tratos. I uh, ¿Sí? saw that. Yo vi eso uh, with my with with my mother, with my aunt. When we used to go to the te some technological stores, uh, the the treatment was different. El trato era un poquito diferente. I don't, I'm not generalizing. I'm not saying that that happens in all this, the, the stores. No pasado todas las tiendas, pero sí. Maybe, I don't know. They used to think that the, the, maybe the, the women um, maybe didn't have the enough information or knowledge. Quizás pensaban que no tenían la suficiente información para adquirir algo. I don't know. Maybe, could it be? Yes, right, so. A veces por el tono de piel o, o no sé, también la discriminación o algo así. Yeah. Uh -huh. sí. Yeah, that, that's it. Um, there is the treatment that you may have face-to-face -face is different than contacting a product or, yeah, store online, right? Because you don't have to see the person Maybe that person is on the bad mood. Quizás esa persona está de mal humor. Maybe that person is having a lot of problems. But now, well, through online purchasing, you can have a like, very easy way to, uh, uh, to acquire something. Es más fácil adquirir ciertas cosas, okay? Here we have one opinion. Gracias. Es actually, uh, women, sería con E, women have more opportunities. Could it be, gracias? Yeah. Of course, that's it. Thank you, and let me check this. Uh, Gracia, do you have another opinion about this or similar to that? I don't know, she's there. No sé si está ahí. Bueno, después continuamos later. Yes, I'm here. Okay, Gracia. Yes, you were uh, saying. Before rights we are viola violated no sé cómo se dice ah, violated. Quizá, digamos, violación de derechos yeah could it be it is like um, the treatment the way people used to refer to another la manera en como se referían a otras personas yeah it is like very different because now we have we have the opportunity to not contact people face to face no contactarlos tanto Cara, cara, right? So, yeah. But do you say viol, violados? Eh, o sea, yeah. para decir que había más violación de derechos. Yeah, it could it be. Ya te digo acá. Yes. Um, you can say. You're better related. You can be on 
writes. Okay, not respected, right? Were, uh, were not respected, no, no eran respetados los derechos o no fueron, no es, se llevaban a cabo. English, okay, so that uh, Thanks. you're welcome. Okay, uh, we're going to continue later with this uh, same topic for the other people who have not participated, para los otros que no han participado, porque me interesa que todos participen. Remember, you have to give your opinion. Um, even if it is a short idea, it doesn't matter. Si es una idea corta, muy pequeñísima, puede ser. Por eso yo siempre les sugiero que los speaking activities en un break o un descanso que ustedes tengan, adelante, respondan. Preparen su respuesta para que tengan una idea, ¿verdad? O pueden solo acá responderla. La, la dificultad de responderla acá, digamos, en el momento, es que a veces no encontramos las palabras que queremos. Y a todos nos sucede. Pero si ya tenemos una buena idea o si ya lo tenemos escrito, es, es como que nos da más confianza. Ok, let's go with the conversation. Tenemos una conversación acá. And here we have Ben and Jeff. And the last person is Mario. But, well, Mario says solo absolutely. Solo eso dice. Ben dice, Jeff, how are you doing? A mí me gusta bastante esta, esta pregunta. How are you doing? Es lo mismo que decir, how are you? Okay, ¿cómo estás? How are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to underline the words that I consider that are kind of tricky. For example, recuerda money. Okay, money, no es money, es money. Uh, each, each, here we have hours, around, around, sometimes, and the last one is absolutely, okay? Le pregunta, hey, Jeff, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo vas? Quiero preguntarte algo. ¿Cuántos días a la semana trabajas? Hey, Ben. Bueno, yo trabajo cinco días a la semana. ¿Y tú? Eso es genial. Trabajo cuatro días y a veces los sábados. ¿De verdad? ¿Los sábados? ¿Trabajas horas extra? ¿Y cuánto dinero te pagan por cada hora extra? Sí, trabajo horas extra. Cuando hay mucho trabajo, ¿qué hacer? Cada hora extra está alrededor de 10 dólares. Ya veo, bueno, a veces no hay mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Absolutamente. Oh, es correcto. Ok. So here we have money. Uh, por, si se, por si tenemos problemas. How. How many. How much. How many, how much. Ok. How much money. Each. Hours. Around. Around. Sometimes, sometimes, and absolutely. Okay, I need you please to help me send in the screenshot so we can have, so we can have the, the conversation and all of us can, a ver si me ayudan con la, enviando la conversation.
Tal vez me puede ayudar Jasmine o Stephanie. Ah, bueno, aquí tenemos. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Ok, my friends. Remember to practice. Recuerden practicar. Este, vamos a intercambiar. We're going to interchange the diálogos. And then we come back. Y regresamos después de un par de minutos. Ok. Please accept the request. Acepten la solicitud. Okay. Thank you for accepting. Gracias por aceptar. Eh, solo me faltan unos cuantos que acepten la solicitud de para que ingresen a los grupos. Teacher, a mí me sacó del grupo. Permítame. Nelson, yo te envío acá. Dani, no sé si sí, también hay dificultades. Ok, Ricardo, Dani, no sé si tienen dificultades con internet. No, ya revisamos.
Okay, welcome back, my friends. Here we have these. Do we have some volunteers? Or si tenemos voluntarios? To this conversation. If not, maybe we can select some. Okay, so let's see. Vamos a ver si tenemos voluntarios o volunteers. I'm going to select then to. Okay. Mm, here we have one, Imelda. Hello, Imelda. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Who was your classmate? Your compañero? Yes. Eh, con Jasmine estaba ahí. Ok, Imelda and Jasmine, please. Showtime. Y está ahí. Hello, sí, Hello. sí yes. Yes. Sí. Ok, ¿quién comienza? Eh, Jay, how are you doing? doing? I want to ask, I want to ask you how many day a week do you work? Okay, then, well, I work five day a week, and you? That's great. I work four week day. And sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work X hour? And how how much mo, how much money uh, do you play for each X hour? Yes. I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Eight extra hours is around 10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Thank you. So thank you very much. So very nice pronunciation. That's it. If you notice, here we have how many and how much. Aquí tenemos, estamos utilizando estas frases, ¿verdad? How many days, cuántos días a la semana trabajas. Y la otra, how much money do they pay? Cuánto dinero te pagan. Thank you. So let's move to the other part about this. Okay. And here we have two options. Circle uh, the word that best completes the question. Vamos a encerrar un círculo o vamos a seleccionar la palabra que mejor eh, complete la pregunta. Para esto vamos a necesitar, maybe we can have, Miguel, are you there? A ver si está por ahí Miguel para que nos colabore. So you can help us. Si no está Miguel, posiblemente. Yes, Miguel. Ok, maybe not. So, uh, gracias. Could you help me, please? With number one on, or number two? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Aquí okay. tenemos number one, how much or how many, y también la número dos. Solo elige uno, select one. How many? No, no, no. Sí, sí. How many hours a day do you work? Yes, very nice, thank you. So here we have this. How many hours do you work? Ajá. Uh -huh. How, no, how many hours a day do you work? Thank you. That's it. And we have also Joanna. Could you help me with number two, please? How much or how many? How much? Yes, thank you. How much is the cuanto de dinero? How much uh, do they pay per hour? Cuanto pagan por hora? Okay. So here we have an explanation. Tenemos una explicación acá. How to use el how many y, y también pues el how much. Aquí tenemos con el how many eh, tenemos dice for countable nouns para eh, sustantivos contables hora, días, semanas, años. Eh, aquí tenemos how many days a week do you rest? How many hours a day do you work? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuántos días a la semana eh, descansas? O cuántas horas al día trabajas. No, aquí vamos a la siguiente. How much? 
How much for uncountable nouns? Que es, es how much para sustantivos no contables, como money, time, ¿verdad? Que es el dinero, el tiempo. Aquí tenemos, how much money do they pay per extra hour? ¿Cuánto dinero pagan por extra, por hora extra? O, how much time do we have? ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos? ¿Ok? Vamos ahora a trabajar en una worksheet que se traduce acá, pero esta la vamos a, antes de irnos a esto, vamos a trabajar con la pregunta que tenemos pendiente. How are businesses today different from 50 years ago? ¿Qué tan diferentes son los negocios? ¿Verdad? Con hace, bueno, hace 50 años, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos, tal vez no puede colaborar con esto. Imelda, no sé si estás por ahí. Imelda, si tienes, if you have your opinion, si tienes tu opinión sobre respecto, respecto a eso, about this. No, teacher, no te, no, no, no lo hice. Ok, mm, ok. Tal vez para mañana, ok, para la otra speaking activity. Thank you. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, um, Héctor. Mm, Héctor, are you ready? Hi, teacher. Yes. Okay, please. They are quite different because the technology is advanced. Uh, the internet helps use a lot of communication. Thank you. Yes. That's it. Yes. Technology helps for the communication. Yes. Es una es un buen punto. Thank you. What about now, um, Ivan? What about you? Any opinion about this, Ivan? Hi. Hello. Hi. The, the humans, the bosses are different before they were, um, uh, how do you say, strict or so ah. duros? Uh, strict. I see. Strict. Strict. Strict with uh, employers and the technology has made a very important it advanced sign the creation of the internet. Um, now we can tell you anyone in the in the world from home. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, thank you, Ivan. Uh, a big change, especially because now we can work from home. Not for all the jobs, not para todos los trabajos, but yeah. Now imagine you are having a English classes from home. And I am teaching from home. So, yeah, it is very different. And now, thank you, Ivan. What about Ricardo? Are you ready, Ricardo? Okay, and Ricardo not ready. And what about Wendy? Wendy is... I'm here. Hello, Wendy. Do you have your opinion about this? Yes, my opinion is the companies have evolved both in technology and tools and strategies for the development of their company. Mm -hmm. Today's companies are innovative. Innovative. Eso, eso. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. It is innovating. A company has to improve every time. Tiene que mejorar siempre. Thank you, uh, Wendy. What about Wilmer? Uh, Wilmer. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, the techno technology, mm -hmm. uh, com computer, and yeah. studios, studios are more advanced. Oh, yes, the studies are more advanced. For example, the marketing. Ejemplo, el mercadeo. Uh, the marketing in the previous years, años anteriores, it was different because it was uh, focused on people um, going to stores. Está enfocado más que la gente fuera a las tiendas. Now, a marketing, it is involved with social media. Se envuelve con, eh, está envuelto más que todo con las redes sociales. So the marketing changes a little bit. Thank you. Nice, Wilmer. And Jasmine, 
Any opinion about this topic? Yes, teacher. Uh, a lot of technology. Uh, they I have online store. Okay. Uh, um, ¿Cómo se dice? Prepara, prepara el work personal. Ah, okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Preparan el personal. Ah, como capacitan el personal. Train personal. Train personal. O oh, sí, de, ajá. Uh -huh. Modern stores y visual communi communication. Yeah, thank you. Two important aspects that Jasmine mentioned. Train personal. It is when there are some workshops or capacitations like for workshops, personal. Uh -huh. Yeah, the workshops are so important. I need the workshop. Even there are some end companies that they train their employees once a year, que le dan por lo menos un taller al año, about mm -hmm. different aspects, okay? And the other is mm -hmm. yes. that we are focusing on visual aspects, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you present a product and the picture, it is not that good. It is not attractive. No es atractivo. It is mm -hmm. not attractive, right? Depending on the colors, depending mm -hmm. on the way the image is presented. Thank you, Jasmine. Very mm -hmm. nice. Okay, Do you have your business? Your own business? ¿Tienes un, un negocio, Jasmine? Uh, no, trabajo para una empresa. Okay, you work for an enterprise. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay, so this, uh -huh. okay. okay, very nice. Good points. Thank you. Okay, okay. Uh, Andrea is not here, right? Danny, I don't know if Danny is here. Creo que no tu... Okay, Miguel. Hi, Mike. Hello. Uh, dime, Miguel. Creo que no te podemos escuchar, Miguel. No sé si estás hablando porque tienes la cámara apagada, pero um, creo que tienes dificultades. Si no, puedes escribir. Puedes escribir en el chat porque tienes el micrófono activo, pero no te escuchamos. Ok, si no, ya veremos, Mike. Ok, thank you for all the participations. Eh, gracias por la participación. Uh, créanme, believe me, the, all the modules or courses that I had, todos los cursos que, que tuve, estas speaking activities le ayudan, no se imaginan cuánto a mejorar su fluidez, because you are here to learn English, están aquí para aprender inglés, de una manera como se van a demostrar es hablándolo, así que no tengan miedo, no, no importa si su idea es diferente, extraña, eh, si van a decir pocas palabras, bastantes palabras, lo importante es que lo intenten. Ok, I need you to try. Necesito que intenten. No importa si, si sale un poco extraño, si la pronunciación no lo hacen al 100% bien, no se preocupe. Lo importante es quitarse el miedo. Teacher. Ok, yes. Teacher, it's so necessary uh, select the, the number of, of years when you can ask you or it's not necessary. What do you mean the, the number of years? Uh, talking about the, this speaking yes. the, this question? Yes, when you when you talking when, when you are asking, uh it's so uh it's it's very important that you specific the numbers of the years or it's not necessary or depends is, on the it, context. Yeah, it is not uh, like necessary, it is like just to have an idea about how different are the generations right okay. uh, yeah, it is like a very different for example your grandpa's your grandmother gra your grandfather uh, they had different experiences uh, buying or purchasing in the supermarket uh, in the stores and now you are very different for example mm -hmm. in the past wa were not so common shopping centers like american clothes la, la ropa americana así de segunda mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we have a lot of those stores, yeah. right? And technology, as you mentioned, Brian. So maybe could it be like 30 years ago? It is kind of different as well. Or even okay. 20 years ago. 
but thank you. Good point. And uh, when I ask you um, a question, it is not like literally. But what, what is that? Not literally lo que hace 50 años, but just to have an idea. Okay. Okay. But thank you for your comments. Okay, my friends. Now let's move to the other part. And in here, we're going to use how much and how many. Okay. Now. Oh, sorry. This is not. This is later. This is later. We're going to do this. Okay. Look. Uh, we're going to decide whether these nouns are countable or uncountable. Okay. Si son contables, we're going to say countable. Countable. Si. Or uncountable. You. Uncountable. Okay. And um, the words in bold are the nouns that we are focusing. Nos estamos enfocando en las, en los, las palabras en negrita. Don't worry if you don't know the rest of the words. No se preocupen si los, las otras palabras no las entienden. Quiero que traten de captar si son, eh, si es contable o no es contable ese sustantivo. ¿Ok? For example, I'm going to say, ok, 14. I like some juice, please. Juice. Juice, el jugo. What do you think? This countable or uncountable? Okay. Uncountable. Uncountable. Yes. uncountable. Thank you. It is uncountable. Why? Because you say a bottle, you, you say, for example, a, a glass of juice. Okay. That's uncountable. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Read of this. Y les sugiero que tengan algunas opciones. ¿Por qué? Cuando a veces yo les pregunto, algunos me pueden decir, teacher, yo iba a decir esa, teacher, yo iba a decir that. So, please, a recommendation, please try to have two or three options. Traten de tener dos o tres opciones en su vida. Y eso en general. Ok. So, that's it. <laughs> yeah, why not. So, volunteers, if not, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to read that. Remember to focus on the bold uh, words. Enfoquémonos en las palabras en negrito. Ok. Me. Ok, me. Stephanie. Right? Yes. Tell me. Whatever. <laughs> uh, you select the number or me? No, you. You always select uh, the number. No problem. Mm -hmm. In the order. <laughs> okay. The number one. Yep. The, the children are playing in the garden. Is mm -hmm. um, countable? Yeah, it's countable. Children, yeah, because our, our kids, son niños, right? So, of course, yeah. thank you, Stephanie. Very nice. Uh, what about here? Uh, Jasmine, maybe? Um, I don't like meal. Okay. It's countable. Okay, milk, Um, I guess it is uncountable. La leche no se puede contar. Ajá, okay. yeah. Ah, oh, sí, así. bueno, lo estaba viendo literalmente por varias. Por... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah no, okay. that's it. Okay. But thank you, thank you, Jasmine. Okay. Eh, gracias, please. Number three. Okay. Uncountable. Yes. I prefer. I prefer to uncountable, no se puede contar. Thank you very much. Miguel, hoy sí, probemos si podemos escuchar. Let's try. Hello, Miguel. Hoy sí me escuchan. Yes, my friend. Now we can hear you. Tell me, what number? Uh, four. Okay, scientists. Scientists say that the environment is threatened, threatened by pollution. Mm -hmm. It's countable. Countable, yes, scientists. One, two, three, science. Thank you, mm -hmm. uh, Mike uh, Nelson. Please, Nelson, your turn. Um, number 10. Number 10, okay. And the bread. The bread The bread my mother prepared is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's countable. Okay. Bread similar to the band from the 80s, I guess. Bread, quiero, quiero ver, bread, bread, bread. Maybe it is uncountable. Quizás it's uncountable. Por el hecho que habla de rabanada, de pan. A menos que digas un francés. Could it be countable as well? 
Thank you, Nelson. Wilmer. Uh, number number fifteen. Uh, okay, successful candidates. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you is uh, 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 candidate will join the company oh, later this year. Mm -hmm. Is contable. Contable. That's it. Thank you. For example, candidates for elections. Mm -hmm. Candidates one, two, three candidates. Thank you. Wendy, your turn. The number six. Number six. Let's uh, go. There are there are there are a lot of windows in our classroom. Is uh, okay. Windows. Si sí, se pueden contar, ¿verdad? La ventana. <laughs> yes. Thank yeah. you. Perfect. Countable. Okay. Uh, we have a few numbers and pocos uh, numeros. Okay, let's listen. Maybe we can have this case to Christy, que se me ha desaparecido, and then Laura. Okay, Christy, uh -huh. what number? Number five. Yeah. My mother uses butter to prepare case. Mm -hmm. Uncountable. Uncountable, yes, butter, yes, it is like uh, you can count this butter okay thank you la mantequilla very nice um laura and then david please i don't know if you are there laura if not i'm going to give you a chance next time okay uh david and joanna okay oh la 11 is 11 Okay, drivers. Uh -huh. Ese sería yes, drivers must be carefully. The road is slippery. Yes, drivers comfortable. Thank you. Okay, we go now with uh, I don't know if David is ready. Yes, sir. Please, what number? Number mm, 16. 16. Uh rice in oil. Mm -hmm. Yes. And oil is uncountable. Okay, uncountable. Yes, el aceite no se puede contar. Thank you very much. Okay, um, Imelda, I don't know if you are there. And then Brian. Number eight, teacher. Mm, okay, the waiters. Uh, uncountable. Okay, the waiters in this restaurant are very professional. Los meseros, ¿se podrá contar? Un mesero, dos meseros. Yes. Right? Yeah. Aquí sería countable. Mm -hmm. Countable, perdón. Uh, Thank you, Imelda. Okay, Brian. Please. I think the number nine is countable because it drinks two, two big glasses. My father drinks two big glasses of water. Definitely it is. Cuando algo se le puede agregar un número, es countable. It's countable. You can add a number. Thank you. Okay. Very much. Okay. Maybe we can have in this time Doris. I don't know if Doris is your there. We have number 7, 12, and 13. And 12? Okay, 12. Some wow. policemen. Countable. Yes, countable. Are organizing. Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know if we can have the participation of Jasmine. Seven or 13. Um, it is um, it's seven. Mm -hmm. Glue. We need uh -huh, uh, some glow uh, of counter. Okay, uncountable. La pega no se puede contar. Okay. And 13, I bought three bottles of mineral and water. Se dan cuenta que aquí está un número. Three. Cuando hay un número, es oh, contable. Sí. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much for uh, your participations. Let's move in to have like a different, to have like a different exercise. We're going to have, let's see. Vamos a tener un short pitch. 
Cuando decimos short speech, significa un discurso corto. So, we're going to listen, vamos a escuchar, we're going to listen what a person is going to talk about any topic. So, it is not a conversation. It is like a speech and try to listen. Ideas and if you understand some words, write them. Escriban algunas palabras si captan o ideas, okay? Just give me a second. I'm going to prepare this audio. In this case, we're going to have different um, pronunciation speakers. Vamos a tener personas que hablen de diferente manera el inglés. Un acento es más entendible que otro. But my point is that you can have contact or you can have experience with different types of English pronunciations. If you do that, it means that you are going to... Uh, Identify little by little. Van a ir identificando poco a poco. Recuerden, we have more classes. Tenemos más clases. Entonces, poco a poco, es una manera como ustedes, pues, van a ir eh, captando mejor. Ok. This audio, this audio is like 30 seconds. Son 30 segundos. Lo voy a poner dos veces. Ok. Let's listen. Sorry, I'm having some problems. Let's see here. Okay, now here we go. Let's go. Internet speech. With the help of the internet, purchasing products online has become very popular among people. All the banking and financial transactions can be sent and can receive money with the internet's help. But with all the benefits, the internet has disadvantages as well. The disadvantages includes the leaking of data and personal information. Social media can also create disturbances through malicious content. Okay, let's listen one more time. Internet speech. With the help of the internet, purchasing products online has become very popular among people. All the banking and financial transactions can be sent and can receive money with the internet's help. But with all the benefits, the internet has disadvantages as well. The disadvantages includes the leaking of data and personal information. Social media can also create disturbances through malicious content. Okay. I know it is quite, well, kind of complicated, but if you can raise your hand, uh, did you identify any words? La palabra que han identificado, Jasmine. Eh, bueno, <laughs> solo un par ser le una entendí. O dos. No hay problema. Dice, no como... Dijo transacciones, okay. dinero, beneficios. Yeah, thank you. Very nice. Three words. Good. Uh, Stephanie? I think <laughs> no that, that listen, um, he's held a internet uh, people. Yeah, that's yes. true. Yes, that's okay. it. Talking about internet. But this okay. person says internet. No dijo internet, si te das cuenta. So oh, that is a different... Uh -huh, Aha, yes. But we can understand. Thank you. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. Um, David and then Doris. Um, yo entendí que dijo social media. Yeah. Perfect. 
social media. It is okay. Thank you. Of course. Um, Doris? Um, como manager, pero se lo, lo dijo como más rápido. Okay. Could it be? Manager. Thank you very much. Any other person? I'm going to present uh, the text. Voy a presentar el texto ahorita. Okay. Thank you. So let's move here. Uh, the person says internet speech with the help of the internet purchasing products online has become very popular among people. All the banking and financial transactions can be sent and can receive money with the internet's help. But with all the benefits, the internet has disadvantages as well. The disadvantages include the leaking of data and personal information. Social media can also create disturbances through malicious content. So, yeah, that's it. Eh, se dan cuenta cómo se puede identificar una palabra. No problem if you identify one word. Y si no identificar ninguna palabra, no se preocupen. We're going to listen uh, different people in every class. So, little by little, you're going to adapt your listening to different types of pronunciation. Ya se van a adaptar poco a poco, ¿verdad? Si entendieron una palabra, perfect. Si entendieron dos o más, mejor. Pero si no entendieron ninguna, no se preocupen. Vamos a ir poco a poco. Ok, we have two more activities. Tenemos dos actividades más. Uh, I'm, I want to make a reinforce. Quiero hacer un, un refuerzo en algo. Ok. Yesterday. And the day. And on, let me see. I'm sorry, yesterday, not on Friday. On Friday and on Thursday, I was explaining this. Estuve explicando esto, okay? Affirmatives and negatives about uh, the third person. ¿Se recuerdan de las terceras personas que les dije? So, it is very uh, fundamental to know this. For the third person in affirmative, we have to add S. Vamos a agregarle S normalmente, pero podemos agregarle otra ES o IES. And for negatives, we're going to use doesn't. Okay? Doesn't and the verb in the base form. La forma base del verbo. No se modifica. Solo el doesn't. Para el resto, vamos a utilizar don't. Okay? Así que en este momento, we're going to focus on this. Okay? Nos vamos a enfocar eh, básicamente en las negatives, right? Vamos a utilizar don't or doesn't. In this exercise, en este ejercicio que le voy a presentar, I'm going to present now. Okay, look at this. Don't or doesn't exercises. Ok. Um, no siempre se va a utilizar don't. No siempre se va a utilizar doesn't. Depende si es eh, tercera persona, ¿verdad? Y si no, pues se va a utilizar don't. Cualquiera de las dos palabras, don't or doesn't. Ok. Le doy un par de segundos, ya les pregunto. O pueden ser voluntarios. Ok. Check a look. Den una revisada. Remember to have two or three options. Tengan dos o tres opciones por si le ganan la, la oración que ustedes quieren decir. Ok, here we have Christy, que no quiere que le ganen la ley. Ok, Christy, and then we go with Joan. Ok, Christy. Okay, um, number one. Okay, please. Re Rebecca doesn't drink coffee. Thank you, Rebecca doesn't drink coffee. Perfect. And we go with Joanna and Lau. We don't wear jeans. Yeah. We don't. That part, yes, a perico. Okay. We don't wear jeans. 
Thank you. Uh, Laura en Nelson. Your brother doesn't smile. 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 Mm -hmm. smile. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Nelson en Gracia. I don't teach Italian. Good. Okay, then we go with Gracia and Miguel. These boys don't play golf. Yeah, perfect. Okay, we go with Miguel. It's car doesn't run fast. Yes. Okay, and the last person here, we're going to listen to Jasmine. Ya tengo más ejercicio. Right? We have more exercise. No, no problem. Okay, Jasmine, could you help me with day? Mm, Jasmine, are you there? Hi. Eh, ay, je, tenía una, pero... Bueno, me... eh, faltan dos. Después de Jasmine, okay. vamos con Ricardo. Okay. Day or my mother? Eh, it's a day. Mm -hmm. uh, I sería they don't they don't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go to the cinema. Thank you. Uh -huh. And Ricardo, could you help me with my mother? My mother, my mother doesn't like rap. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Nadie se equivocó. Very nice. So um, here we have to focus that focus on third person, enfocamos de las terceras personas, pero las terceras personas no siempre se nos van a presentar con he, he, o con it, las terceras personas también, we're going, they are going to appear, van a aparecer como Rebeca, como your brother, tu hermano, o sea, he, ¿verdad? This car, como este carro, eso, ¿verdad? Como my mother, o sea, ella, mi mamá, right? Okay, let's move because we have some other exercises similar to these ones, similar to estos. Let's see. Okay. So in this case, uh, we can have the help of some other, la ayuda de otros, other participants. Gracias, ya habías pasado, gracias. Hello. Yes. Yes, right. Okay. Thank you. The rest of participants, please. Pueden levantar su mano. Ya Pero tenemos puedo a... pasar otra vez. Okay, repetida. Vaya, gracias. Después David. Vamos a ver, pues, gracias. We don't go by train. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Easy peasy, right? Está bastante fácil. Okay, David. And then we go with when? Number three. Yeah. You don't have a car. Yeah. You don't have a car. Of course it is. Uh, Wendy. And then they Wilma. Don't, they don't speak English. Mm -hmm. Of course. Thank you. Wilma, please. My friend. And Ricardo. Uh, it. It doesn't, right? It's summer. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Okay, Ricardo, could you help me, please? Uh, Coco Dry. Coco Dry? No, perdón. Pero no leo bien. Ajá, no problem. Crocodile. Yeah, crocodile. Don't live in the sea. Mm -hmm. because Don't it's live. Plural. Yeah, thank you. Perdón. Yeah. Don't live. Yes, because it's plural. Mm -hmm. Plural. Perfect, perfect. Eh, por ejemplo, si dijésemos crocodile, si dijéramos un cocodrilo, ahí sí tería, sería tercera persona, pero como estamos diciendo plural, son yes. varios crocodiles. Thank you. That's totally correct, my friend. Um, let's see who else we have just for um sorry. Mita. Uh, vaya, había alguien que levantó la mano y, y no lo vi. Ok. Sorry. Bueno, Imelda, ya vamos a ver quién más aparece. I'm sorry. 
desaparecieron. I, I don't like swing. La última. Nels. Ok. Uh, I, yes. Swimming. Swim, swim, swim. swim. Yeah, I don't like swimming. But some people don't like. Thank you. Nelson Wright and then Stephanie. Aha, Nelson. A snail or a penguin? A penguin doesn't fly. Perfect. Doesn't fly. Yes. And Stephanie, please, Stephanie. A snail doesn't wear closet. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Pero falta otro, no lo había visto. Yes. Yeah, perfect. This man. A ver quién me ayuda con this man. This man doesn't smoke. Yeah, of course, that is. Eh, las terceras personas están disfrazadas de otras cosas. This man, it's, it's third person. Nailed, yeah. Uh, eat penguin. So thank you, my friends. I guess you already uh, understand very well this topic. It is not like complicated for you. No está nada complicado para ustedes. No veo que, que haya como complicación. So in this case, we have like a couple of, of seconds. Tenemos un par de segundos. We're going to have the last conversation, but in this case, we're going to use third person. En esta conversación vamos a utilizar, pues, eh, las terceras personas. Like this. This is like a very short conversation, una conversación tanto corta. Okay, we're going to use this. Look. Aquí ya estamos ingresando o ya nos vamos para las terceras personas. Vamos a practicar solo la 1, ¿ok? Solo la 1, ¿ok? What does Bob do? Ya son, ya son preguntas, si se dan cuenta. Ya estudiamos. We study affirmative negative. Now we'll go with questions. What does Bob do? He works, tercera persona. He works at a hospital. What does he do there? He's a doctor. He specializes. 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 Cuatro. In sports medicine, that sounds like a great job. Yeah, he loves it. Okay, specializes. Sounds. Loves. Okay, could you help me please with the screenshot? Me ayudan please con la captura de pantalla. Va a ser una práctica de cuatro minutos. Va a ser bien corta o menos, quizás. So, if you could send this, I will appreciate my friends. Voy a apreciar bastante para que practiquemos la última vez, the last time, and we're going to say goodbye. De ahí solo pasamos lista y decimos adiós. Okay? So, Thank you, Jasmine and Steffi. Stephanie, thank you. Stephanie, ¿cómo te dice normalmente? Stefa, Steffi, o oh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie, completo. Mm-hmm. Okay, no problem. Yo normalmente digo nombres cortos, but I'm so sorry. Okay, let's practice. No importa. <laughs> okay. Puede ser. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, practicamos unos cuatro minutos, luego venimos porque le voy a dar un par de indicaciones, okay? Mm. See you in a moment. Please accept the request, accept la solicitud.
Ana, eh, Doris, ¿todo bien? No, teacher, me sacó. No, no pude entrar. Ya la, le voy a enviar nuevamente la solicitud. Ok. Okay, now that we are back, maybe we can have some, one team, just one couple, una pareja, un equipo, and we're going to finish, vamos a terminar ya la clase, okay, so who is the brave, quien es el valiente, o la valiente que comienza, if not, I'm going to select one person, for example, vamos a seleccionar en este caso, a uh, Okay, we're going to select this case to maybe no sé bien, hay muchas opciones. Doris. Maybe Doris, can you help me? Okay. Mm-hmm. Con quién se trabaja I guess you were working with two, right? Estaba Ricardo. Y Ana Cristina. Ok, adelante. Selecciona a alguien. Ricardo, está bien. Ok, Ricardo comienza y luego va a su Doris. Ok, let's go. Go ahead, eh, vamos. What does for you? He works at the hospital. What does he do there? He's a doctor. He specializes in experimenting. That sounds like a rich job. Yeah, he loves it. Thank you very much. Okay. También tenemos a Yasmin que iba a participar, me parece, ¿verdad, Yasmin? Sí. Ok, adelante. Con Stephanie. Go ahead, my friends. Ok. What does Bob do? 
<laughs> he worked at a hospital. What does he do there? <laughs> He's a doctor. He is specialist. Ay, esa no la entendí. Es specializes. Specializes. specializes in sport medicine. That sounds like a great job. Yeah, I hope. I, yeah. He loves he it. He loves it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Demasiado poder, Steffi. Demasiado poder. Yeah. I, 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 man, nice to meet you, and Stefano. <laughs> Stefano. Es italiano. Yeah. Okay, um, vamos a pasar lista, please. Eh, de la misma manera como cuando se nos acaba el tiempo, mandando el emoji, pero al chat, please, al chat. Así como lo acabo de hacer acá. Y eh, recordar que el día de mañana voy a revisar la plataforma. Thank you, Laura, Stefa, o Stefano, <ríe> Imelda, Luz y los demás. Gracias por enviar el, el come up. El día de mañana voy a revisar la plataforma para pasar las notas. Espero que hayan avanzado. Si no, avancen ahora o mañana durante el día, porque al finalizar la clase de mañana, este, ¿cómo se llama? Paso las calificaciones de la plataforma. Si hay alguien que tiene problemas con su usuario o cualquier cosa, me escribe y vemos de qué manera pues le damos eh, seguimiento. Se me queda. ¿Hasta hoy, qué número? Eh, tarea 5. 1, 2, 3. Por la unidad 1. Uh -huh. yeah. Yo no puedo ingresar porque no me deja con el correo. Voy a intentar, pero me dice correo inválido. In Intenta de nuevo, Yasmin, y si no me escribes al WhatsApp, ¿ok? Y ahí okay. yo pido ayuda, ¿verdad? Eh, se queda ahora Doris y el resto nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Bye bye. Have a good night. Nos pasamos un minuto todavía. Nos vemos mañana. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, my friends. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, there is hello there. Hello. Okay. Tell me, uh, did you have some other courses? ¿Has tenido otros cursos anteriormente de inglés? Eh, uno, eh, un módulo anterior, este es mi segundo módulo ahorita, okay. con inglés corporativo. Ok, eh, ¿estás con los, casi los mismos compañeros de, del módulo anterior? Sí, hay varios, hay varios okay. del módulo anterior. Perfecto, ok, muy bien. Eh, aparte de, de los módulos eso con inglés, ¿has tenido otros? Mm, recibí, recibí un par de clases en mi trabajo anterior, pero eh, no lo terminé, no me okay. recuerdo, no sé si terminé de, de, de trabajar, ahí, pero no, no terminamos el módulo. Ok, ok, excelente. Bueno, Doris, este, no sé si tienes dudas o preguntas con respecto a la clase o algún tema que han visto que, que te parezca como un poco confuso. Mm, no, por el momento sí voy entendiendo eh, okay. Me gusta más que estamos participando un poco más. Uh -huh. okay. sí, sí, vamos bien. Sí. Ok, sí, si te das cuenta, mis clases son como bien interactivas. Intento que participen todos. Eh, sé que a veces hay dificultades con el tráfico, la señal, la lluvia, pero en la medida posible eh, participan bastante. Entonces... Este, solo bah, recomendarte, ¿verdad? Las speaking activities, trabajarlas si puedes, en un descanso que tengas. Un, yo sé que no tiene mucho tiempo, pero en, en una, sí, un par de minutos que tengas para avanzar. Eh, si te das cuenta, la participación oral es bastante importante para mí, ¿verdad? Porque así estamos perdiendo el miedo. Um, normalmente a, a todos, yo he visto que la barrera principal para el inglés es la inseguridad. Y si me equivoco, y si no lo digo bien, y ese y sí hay que eliminarlo. Y lo vamos a eliminar sí. mediante practiquemos. No importa si te equivocas el 100% de las palabras o de las frases, yo no te voy a reinar ni te voy a decir nada. Poco a poco, sí. si te das cuenta, yo hago como un énfasis. Ah, tal cosa. Ah, sí. Entonces, es para, hago la corrección, ¿verdad? No te voy a decir, no, no se dice así, porque si no, voy a cortar esa intención. Entonces, Doris, eh, necesito que sí participes y te lances 
¿verdad? Ya vas a ver okay. que después de, de tres semanas vas a tener más seguridad para hablar. Okay. Sí, sí, eso es lo, lo importante y lo que uno espera ¿verdad? lograr. No, claro, sí, hay gramática, hay vocabulario, y yo sé que, que es importante, pero lo que todos quieren, y me he dado cuenta, ya que tengo más de dos años trabajando acá en inglés corporativo, es que sí, eh, necesitan hablarlo. Entonces, las speaking activities, las conversations, y todo eso es para que, es como, el inglés es como un trabalenguas para que aflojemos sí. la lengua y, y después ya, ya te va a salir aún mejor y no se sientan como intimidados si sí, a veces se habla mucho inglés por parte de algunos compañeros que tienen cierto nivel porque todos están aprendiendo aunque algunos av sean avanzaditos siempre hay palabras que no saben todos estamos ah. aprendiendo ¿verdad ah, sí. Doris? entonces espero que te estén gustando las clases ¿verdad? Sí. sé que es difícil sí. sé que es difícil después de trabajar pero ánimo ¿Verdad? Ya, ya casi mañana terminamos la primera semana, solo nos quedan tres más. Ok. ¿Verdad? Gracias. Y eso sería todo, Doris. Te espero mañana, ¿ok? Buenas noches, gracias. Night. Bye, bye. Bye.